hello and good day. I am getting everything ready for baby number four. I, the more kids I have, the more I've noticed that the prepping and planning that I actually do before the baby come has actually less and less to do with the actual baby and more with my atmosphere and the things around me and so I've had kind of like this running list I can walk you guys through it really quickly of things that I've wanted to do before this baby comes and things that I plan on doing before the baby comes um, to just make my life a lot easier postpartum so I think the more kids that you do have the more your plate is obviously full and so I am thinking about future Malena and so a lot of that actually doesn't really entail much preparation for the actual baby. I find that that the baby needs such minor and minimal things that I was able to get that done within just a couple of hours. Um, if you guys are curious as to what I am going to be using for baby and how I've just am so minimal in that area, I could definitely share that in a separate video. Um, because I actually ended up having still a couple more things that I needed to do that I realized I was missing in this video, but I'll get to that in a second. So anyway, kind of the big things that were on my list <laughs> that are like non-traditional things was getting my car prepared. Um, I know people put car seats and stuff in the car, obviously. Um, I don't plan on doing that like right away we have the car seat we're using the duna again we have it it's easily available it's like literally just right there in the garage i just have not put it in yet because our two oldest sit in the very very back we have our middle child in the second row and if we were to put in the car seat prematurely it would be rather difficult for our other kids to get all the way into the back and so we're still trying to figure out the best situation and like the best way to do the whole car seat thing. So anyway, I also am planning on having a home birth Lord willing. And so we don't necessarily need the car seat installed right away. And um, the one of the best things about midwives and postpartum is that they actually will come to you the first six weeks um, to take care of baby. So even after baby is here, I won't necessarily even have to worry about going to um, pediatrician appointments and stuff because the midwife comes to me. So anyway, it's there. It's available. Not my priority. My priority was actually to get the back of my car situated because I utilize the back of my car more than anything else, as you can tell. And it had been a very, very, very long time since I actually had gone through it. This is like months of stuff. I still had Christmas gifts from like our families and relatives that when we went to their house, we put it in the back of the car and then never took it out. And so it was nice to see what I got for Christmas two months later. Um, but as you can see, I have like this giant chest and in there I actually keep I kind of treat it like a diaper bag. I keep spare clothes for my older kids, spare shoes, socks, um, diapers, wipes, anything that I would really need. I'm even debating putting snacks back here just for like emergencies. I put some water back here too. So yeah, I treat my back of the car like a diaper bag. I don't like carrying around a diaper bag if you guys know. Um, once I had three, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done with this. I've been carrying around a diaper bag for almost five years now. And at this point, I just don't really care to, I am so minimal with my kids stuff and we've made do. So anyway, what I do in case of an emergency, instead of just carrying a bunch of stuff around for all three of them, I keep just the minimum that I would need for my baby, which is just diapers and wipes. I'll throw snacks in my bag sometimes, like tangerines, bananas, whatever. Um, and then if there is an accident, if there is like someone steps in dirt and mud is everywhere, or someone is missing a shoe that got left in the parking lot, um, you know, random stuff, I have it in the back of my car. So anyway, 
I needed to clean this out. This big chest is amazing. I got it on Amazon. It's really sturdy. I searched high and low for something like this because I had very specific needs and desires. So anyway, in the summertime, I keep swim stuff in here because we are constantly randomly going to the lake or randomly going to a splash park or like doing some type of activity where I find myself more often than not my kids are wet <laughs> and so um, I had to kind of empty out all the stuff that I had in here because I had towels I had swimsuits I had sunglasses and other things but now I'm replacing it with the outfits so my husband is so sweet he actually had gone out earlier this season and got in all of my kids like really warm and just like I think he just went to Walmart and just got all of them brand new things just to keep in the back and so I never even had a chance to wash those I never even had a chance to take them off the hooks or clips or anything like that so that's what I'm doing here I'm making sure I have diapers and wipes I've always kept wipes in the back of my car they've never dried out on me or like anything weird happened to them I also have a little potty that I keep and you'd think this is for my children. It's actually more so for me. I probably use it the most out of anyone in the family because I've just gotten to the point where if I have to go to the bathroom, I have to go to the bathroom. So I keep that back there with like Clorox wipes and things to like disinfect and clean and whatnot. Um, and then extra shoes for the kids. And I will be putting stuff back here for the baby. I just didn't want to have to go through the baby stuff just yet or like grab it because it's up high and I can't reach it um, and my husband wasn't home and so that's all situated as far as the stroller situation goes I normally don't carry around a stroller but I just threw this single one in for our youngest right now just in case I needed something um, I always do keep a carrier in the back of my car as well um, but I've actually gotten to the point where it's actually quite uncomfortable to carry my baby right now I was able to carry my other child up until like a couple days before birth but I don't I don't know what's going on with this pregnancy but I'm feeling pretty large and in charge and so it's been rather uncomfortable to carry around um, a baby on my back with it's just a lot of pressure anyway I also had the middle part of my my what is this called not glove compartment middle console that I really needed to reorganize now halfway through this organization I started to get really irritated because I had bought these little bags specifically for organizing this space and these bags are trash they're awful so but because I was already here I was already in the mode and just already going I did continue on but I plan on swapping these out I really wanted them to be not as flimsy and cheap feeling as these are these are just these are awful i really wanted those hard covered ones that are still plastic that kind of hold their shape and structure so you can see exactly what's in each one but anyway i do plan on returning these just kept pushing through because i wanted to see how many of the new ones i'd have to order and i'll just return these but i basically have like five different compartments this is the bag that i plan on putting the baby's newborn stuff in um just to have towards the front of the car and then i have just like a personal one that has like hand sanitizer and chapstick bows for the girls hair things just like anything that you really feel like you'd need I got some lint rollers too because I find myself always on my way to church looking so linty but anyway another thing that I'm doing to pan and prep for the baby is find different ways to keep my older kids entertained and y'all know that KiwiCo is just an absolute favorite in our family like we have used them for years and I love how they are activities and crates and projects for my kids that's the biggest thing that keeps us subscribed and reusing it over and over again it's just the fact that these are really cool projects that my kids get to do and so once we're done with these projects i'm able to just take it and toss it and then we move on with our lives and i don't find myself hoarding and keeping all of these items and toys and things because a lot of these things are just recyclable and made to do a project and once a project is done you move on and so the kids this is one of their favorites my oldest actually got this last year and this is for my youngest um but it's so cool because you get to mix together baking soda and citric acid with some food like the colored and so it's like bubbly and fizzy and they get to experiment they were playing with this for over an hour and a half this is how i was able to 
basically finish up a lot of the nesting jobs that I had um, left to do while our baby was sleeping. But we just absolutely love KiwiCo. They are sponsoring this portion of today's video. And I have a code that I will link down below where you're able to get 50% off your first month. So if you have kids, if you're about to be postpartum, I, our family just utilizes it so much. It is so cool. And I save it for Shabbats. I sh save it for um, just everything. So I will have that linked down below for you guys. And thank you to KiwiCo. But now moving on, I have this bin in my basement. It's just labeled postpartum and birth, I believe, or something like that. But it basically has everything from my previous home birth. So again, Lord willing, I will have another home birth. And so I wanted to see essentially what I would need to be ordering. Um, and this is more so for like the actual birth. And so this was stuff that my midwife had me get. And a lot of them were like these giant pads to put down on the bed. I actually use these pads lining up the floor leading from my bed all the way into the bathroom. And I actually kept some on the bathroom because I found that the first couple of days, like it was kind of just a mess of blood everywhere. And so I have those. I have a thermometer that she requested for the baby, garbage bags. Um, disposable gloves for her and then I just kind of needed to see essentially what I had I thought I had those horse pads in here and those like giant things I didn't so I need to order those those candles we used for the placenta to burn off the cord um, there's like emergency things in here I don't plan on using those so I was just kind of taking inventory of what I need so essentially what I still need to get are pads I don't have any pads left over whatsoever and I like to categorize it into three different categories so first the I'd say the first two days are intense days and I plan on getting those giant horse pads day two plus still giant pads just not the horse ones that like literally go from like your belly button all the way to your mid back um and then I kind of just taper off from there. So I'm going to get three different types of pads. But upstairs in my bedroom, I had just a bunch of random things kind of lingering. So I wanted to make an actual box and collect everything together. So I really like using those silverettes. Those saved my breasts last time. Um, I also have this like, what is this called? I don't, it's like a belly band kind of thing. I have to use those postpartum not for aesthetic reasons and because I want my tummy to go flat but because I literally remember standing up and feeling like my gut was gonna fall off and my stomach was coming off my core gets so weak obviously that I just it hurts I remember like I had such awful round ligament pain because I felt like my muscles didn't know what they were doing so here's kind of what I have I have peri bottles I like having two I have these like a skims girdle thing um for my tummy postpartum underwear that are just big and hefty um and I only had one nursing bra I remember thinking I had way more but I guess I only have this one from Kindred Bravely I love it but I will need to get more I want to get one to sleep in that's way more comfortable um and cotton I've struggled really hard to find cotton stuff so um that's what I have but I still need to get some nursing bras for sleeping I also would like to get um cotton or bamboo pads to insert in your bra for when you're leaking i thought i had those i can't find them i think i accidentally donated them when i donated all of my maternity clothes because i did donate all my maternity clothes um so i think that ended up getting donated so things that i still need to get that are like very much so essential are the three different types of pads that will like kind of taper up so first the horse ones then is just like normal heavy ones and then I usually wear liners um with my last birth I actually stopped bleeding by week three my recovery was rather rather quickly so I am praying the same thing happens so I wasn't wearing them for awfully too long so that's why I'm being more strategic this time because I just don't want pads to go to waste um and then I need bamboo pads for leakage and then I also still need to grab like um spray and like witch hazel and those types of things for postpartum um but those are just things that I can just get off of Amazon rather quickly and I'll be here soon so I'm not too worried about that um 
but I'm trying to think because I think there was a couple of other things that I needed to get, but my brain just sometimes farts. So I'll like wake up in the middle of the night and I'll remember some random things. I'll go on Amazon, add it to my cart and put it in my safe for later for me to grab later as I get a little bit closer. Um, but the other thing that I had on my list that is like a non-traditional thing was going through my linen closet. And the reason I would say that was more of a pressing thing is because I had a lot of linens in here that I'm going to be using and needing for postpartum and for the actual birth. And so this linen closet, you guys, I swear I have organized it every other week of my life and it still ends up really messy. And so that's how I knew the system and organization I had in place was just not working for us because this is a spot that I just am consistently having to redo. And so that's how I knew it was time for me to order and just rearrange the way that I had it organized because it obviously wasn't working anymore. And so I've seen these specific things on um, Instagram a ton. They're basically just for bedding. And so you can put like the entire set in there and it holds it all nice and cute because that was my issue was that I just had sets that were just like everywhere. And so being able to keep everything composed and together was the best thing. So I started with a couple of different piles. I had my birth pile. I had my birth towel pile, donation, and then stuff to be organized. And so I had, I don't know about you guys, but we do not use um, sheets. Like sheets are, we use fitted sheets, but then like the sheet that goes on top is not something that we use ever, 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 ever. They always just end up on the bottom of, the, of your feet. And so don't necessarily like those, but... I have linen and cotton ones from my bed sets that I'm actually going to keep temporarily for me to use for postpartum and for my birth. So one vivid memory I have, because the last home birth I had was my first one, but one vivid memory I had was how annoying the plastic of the tub was on my face. Because I just remember burying my face into the tub during a surge and a contraction but because it's plastic and just like itchy and gross like I just remember the texture of it just irritating me and so I was watching someone else's home birth because my entire Instagram explore page right now are kittens and births so I remember seeing someone, what they actually did was take a linen sheet and line their birth tub with it. And so you don't have to do the whole thing, obviously, but wherever she was, she moved it and had it. So it was like covered with the linen. So she wasn't directly like laying her face on the plastic. And I thought, oh, genius, I need to get linen sheets. And then I was like, wait a minute, I already have linen sheets. So anyway, I plan on using that. Sorry, I just realized I had a little dinosaur break. My kids always love to dress up and I need to help my son get his dinosaur costume on so we can continue playing. But that's why I'm keeping that. Once this birth is done, I'll probably just keep that with all of the other birth kit stuff for future births. Um, but yeah, I'm just this is just how my brain works. Then I had a crap ton of towels that I remember I had kept just because I knew I'd hopefully be having another home birth. Um, I kept all of them and so I'm separating them. I think this is the other issue as I was keeping all of these towels in here that I knew were going to be used for home birth, but they essentially our family doesn't use them day to day. Um, they're just like our old towels that we've had since we've been married. And so I think having those in there is what was making this space so cluttered because there was way too much stuff in here. So anyway, I was separating those out. I'm keeping about five for the birth and then anything else I am just donating. And then for my husband and I, we use the Brooklyn in bath. I don't think they're called bath towels. There's a different name for them because they're giant, but they're literally the best towels in the entire world. Um, we have three of those. I want to order one more just so we have like two sets to rotate through. Um, and then I'm just kind of organizing everything through. So another thing that I took out that was in here that to me just didn't make sense was my kids 
um, crib sheets and bed sheets. I'm keeping those inside of their closets. It makes way more sense to have those in there. They only have like one extra set. And so there's really no need to constantly put it in here only to bring it back out into their bedrooms. It makes more sense to have it in their bedrooms. So essentially the only thing that I'm keeping in here are extra sheets for my husband and I, um, hand towels, bath towels, and then my cleaning caddy. So the biggest reason why I wanted to clean this out was because my cleaning caddy stays in here, but it was the only space I had for it was at the very top. But because I'm five one, you know, I can't really reach things as easily as I would like to. And so every time I went to go get it, something would fall on my head. And so I don't have time for things to be falling on my head. So I made it. So I put the cleaning caddy at the very bottom, easily accessible to me. And then I'm just rolling up hand towels and other things. Um, and this system seems like it will work. I think getting rid of a lot of the extra stuff that was in here that just didn't need to be in here is super helpful. But I'm going to throw basically all those towels into that bin that was in the basement. Going to get the pads that I need um, and more stuff for postpartum. And now that my brain is done with like my home because these were the last spaces that really needed some motherly hands. I can actually focus on my postpartum food because I really want to take care and nourish my body postpartum. Um, that's like a top priority of mine. And so I've been waiting to get a little bit closer because I don't want to be, I feel like I need to be in that sweet spot because um, I don't want the food to just be sitting in the freezer. And so I'm kind of just waiting a couple more weeks. And then whenever I do all of this, because I was going to do soups, bone broths, and just really nourishing meals. Once I do that, I would love to show you guys what I'm doing because I'm really excited about that. Like really, really excited. So I'll film all of that. But that is it. This is my nesting beast mode. I'm ru almost running low on energy here, but we made it through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of a random one. I'll leave my Kiwi code link down below if you guys want to get 50% off your first month. I'll try to link all of these. They're all basically from Amazon. Um, but I love you guys. Be blessed. Go nest if you're pregnant. Peace out. I love you. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.